Cropping your miniature pincher's ears is the breed standard. Or is it? In today's videos, we're going to answer that question, also talk about the pros and cons of cropping your miniature pincher's ears, and talk about some of the legal requirements that may be happening in your country. Okay, when it comes to cropping your miniature pincher's ears, it is a very controversial decision um, that gets discussed a lot. And there's a lot of people that are for, and there's a lot of people that are against cropping um, your men's men pin's ear. So what is, in fact, the breed standard? If you log on and go to akc.org, and you look under their breed standard for the miniature pincher, you will see that it is not, in fact, cropping the miniature pincher's ears, but you will also see that it is not, in fact, keeping them natural either. It is actually accepted either way by the AKC to have them cropped or not cropped. Also, when I was preparing for this video, I decided to con conduct a, bull a poll, excuse me, a poll, to decide and just ask, what do you do? Do you crop your miniature pincher's ears or do you not? Over 300 men pin owners responded with a resounding, we keep our dog's ears natural. That's right. 89% actually said they keep their dog's ears naturals and they don't crop them. This actually surprised me while I thought that men pin owners would keep the dog's ears naturals more than cropping them, it actually was a lot higher of a number than I thought. If you're thinking about cropping your miniature pincher's ears, some of the arguments for cropping their ears, and the number one thing that comes to mind is, while it may not be the breed standard as we learned, it is in fact the traditional standard for the miniature pincher. Um, this is the biggest argument you're going to hear for. It's that the dog was you know, meant to look this way. It's the way that they intended whenever it came back in the late 1800s. Um, they cropped their ears, it gave them that look, and that's how some, when they envision a men pin in their home, in their life, that's how they expect them to look. So that's probably the biggest, like I said, argument you're going to hear for that. Another thing that's brought up sometime is the fact of um, ear infections. Um, you never want ear infections for your dog, and they say an argument for is if you get their ears cropped, it will actually keep dirt and moisture from gathering from the floppy ears that fold over, um, which could run a risk for a higher risk of ear infections. Um, now I've had a two miniature pinchers um, currently right now, one with cropped, one without cropped ears, and the one with uncropped ears has never had an ear infection. Now there's the one with the cropped ears. Um, so that may be something that some people have experienced, but nothing that I've experienced. Another reason that someone may bring up for cropping the miniature pincher's ears is if they use them for hunting, actually. Um, so one of the reasons, going back to you know, the traditional way they were bred, was the fact of as hunters, they would hunt vermin down in holes, and they would you know, dig into the trees and you know, the tree trunks and the base there and look for rats and other vermin type, like we said, and they would actually... Um, dig their head down in there and it was thought that the ears that they were floppy and moving all around that potentially the ears could get caught you know down in the hole or could get scratched or anything of that nature so they actually cropped them back in order to prevent that from happening um, so if you're going to be hunting with your miniature pincher which i never have and hey if you do uh, hunt with your miniature pincher definitely let me know in the comments below for sure um, but that is a reason that is brought up um, and then probably the last reason uh, to bring up is kind of with the same thing with kind of with hunting, but if you're going to use them as a guard dog or as a watchdog, it does um, give them usually more of a fierce look, if you want to call it that, um, whenever they are cropped. And so if they were being used as a watchdog or a guard dog in your house, um, potentially then that's something that you could be looking at. And before we move on to talking about the natural years, if you're enjoying what you're um, watching, please, please give us a subscribe, um, hit the like button, and definitely hit the notification bell as well so you can always get our future videos. Okay, so when it comes to the natural years, so while the traditional standard, like we said, was that's how they kept them cropped, for the natural years, it's actually the complete opposite. You know, the natural look for the dogs is, you know, the way they were born, the way that the ears flop around or however they may look. Um, and then probably the biggest thing that's brought up is the fact of the, the surgery and the fact that you are actually cutting the dog's ears. Um, 
And so while the dog is put under anesthesia, there's a lot of care afterwards that's going to have to happen as well. Um, and there's risk with all surgeries, obviously, and you are going to be cutting and altering the miniature pincher. So advocates, strong advocates of, of keeping them natural, that's definitely what they're going to bring up is um, you're changing the dog's appearance. Um, and then another reason that's brought up, like we kind of said, is the natural way they look and also that helps them to have more of a softer tone. So while uh, some people crop them to keep them fierce and ready to attack or whatnot, um, keeping them soft and you know kind of floppy depending on how they uh, come out um, definitely gives them more of a softer look, um, you know, especially on children and whatnot, um, especially if they're yappy, then it helps to take that down some as well. This has kind of been what we talked about with some of the pros and cons of both, but you also need to think about um, the legal requirements whenever you're going to get them done. So currently here in the United States, it is uh, still legal to have the ears cropped in all 50 states. Um, I would not crop them later, definitely not later than about 12 weeks of age, but they are legal here in the United States. However, um, overseas, especially um, in Europe, Australia comes to mind, and a few other countries around the world, um, it is actually illegal to crop your miniature pincher's ears. So when you, if you're going to get one in the near future, then keep that in mind if that's what you're looking for your dog is to get them cropped. It is actually illegal, could be illegal where you live. So definitely look at your local laws to see before you get that done. If you watched so far in this video and you've decided that maybe, hey, you still think you may want to get your uh, miniature pincher's ears cropped, uh, some things to consider. Um, make sure it's, it's usually going to be done before they potentially even come home from the breeder. So actually either way, if you're going to get them done or you're not, um, make sure you're communicating with your breeder early on because some breeders uh, that may be the standard that they do. So they may have um, they may have puppies and and had the litter and all five that came out, boom, 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 boom. They're all going to get their uh, ears cropped because that's just how they do it before they go home. Um, so if you're expecting either way, make sure you communicate with them early. Now some some um, and now some breeders on the other side won't won't actually do that. So that's something that when you are selecting your breeder, you're selecting your min pin, you may need to know that if you want to get them cropped, that you may have to bring them back home and have that done pretty quickly. Because like I said, after about 12 weeks of age, you don't really want to get it done. Um, so if you bring them home between eight and 10 weeks, then in a couple weeks, they need to get it done. So definitely have that relationship with them, have that relationship with your vet as well. All right, guys, so that's all we have today. Definitely, if you've enjoyed this video, like I said, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in our next video.